morning, everybody. I'm Mitchell, and as temperatures start to rise as we get to the hottest time of the year, I think one thing's for certain. We need to know how to beat the heat. Well, this two-part video series, we're going to talk about subjects like recognizing the signs and symptoms of heat stroke versus heat exhaustion. We're going to talk about hydration, how much water you should intake. We're going to talk about electrolytes. We're going to talk about sports drinks. So tune into the next part of my video as we talk about heat stroke versus heat exhaustion. First, we need to understand what the difference between heat exhaustion and heat stroke is. So we're going to compare and contrast the two. So if I have heat exhaustion, I'm going to feel faint or dizzy, whereas a heat stroke, I'm going to have a throbbing headache. I'm going to be sweating a lot with heat exhaustion, but with heat stroke, I'm not going to be sweating at all. My skin is going to be cool, pale, and clammy with heat exhaustion, but if I have a heat stroke, my body temperature is going to rise above 103. My skin's going to be hot and dry and red. Both heat exhaustion and heat stroke, we're going to be experiencing nausea and vomiting. On heat stroke, we're going to be having a rapid and strong pulse, whereas heat exhaustion, we're going to have a rapid but weak pulse. With heat exhaustion, we're going to have muscle cramps, whereas heat strokes, we may lose consciousness. So the biggest difference here is that if we are having heat stroke, we're having no sweating. We're having an increased body temperature where our skin is red, hot, and dry. Our pulse is going to be rapid, but it's going to be rapidly strong. And I may lose consciousness. All this is important to know because if someone is experiencing heat stroke, we need to take immediate action now to cool this person until help arrives. That means we're calling 911 and getting someone to the coldest place we can possibly get them in. Thanks everyone for watching. Tune into my next video as we talk about hydration, how much water we should intake, what is an electrolyte, and what we should look for in sports drinks.